hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in this lesson we are going to start a new course which is numerical analysis and specifically in this video we are going to learn how to solve a system of n linear equations with n unknowns using naive gaussian elimination method now this method is basically used to reduce a system of equations given of the form ax equals b to an upper triangular system of the form ux equals z using elementary row operations so we have a given system in this form ax equals b and then we are going to reduce this system to an upper triangular system that is ux equals z using elementary row operation now the reduction process is what we call forward elimination of unknowns forward elimination of unknowns now the next thing we are going to do is to solve this reduced system by back substitution to obtain the solution vector so we solve the reduced system by back substitution to obtain the solution vector x the solution vector x so basically these are the two main steps in solving a system of equation using naive gaussian elimination so the first step talking about the steps the first is forward elimination of unknowns or better still forward elimination and then the second is back substitution back substitution so to clearly understand this picture let's consider a three by three system of equations so that is given by let's say a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equals b1 we have a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equals b2 and then a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 equals b3 now to solve this system using naive gaussian elimination method the first thing that comes to mind is to represent this system in an augmented matrix or in an augmented form so basically we are going to write down the coefficients of x1 x2 and then x3 in order so you are going to have the elements a11 a12 a13 and then you have a21 a22 a23 and then a31 a32 a33 and then you have a vertical bar here and then you write the constants on the right hand side of the three equations so you have b1 b2 b3 now notice that column 1 corresponds to x1 column 2 x2 column 3 x3 but then we are not going to write these variables so as said earlier the first thing that comes to mind is to represent the given system in an augmented form now considering the two steps involved in solving this system of equations the first is to do what we call forward elimination now forward elimination means that we want to reduce the given system in this form we want to reduce this to an upper triangular system so we perform forward elimination that is our first step so we perform forward elimination and then we are going to have the reduced system to be like this so we have u11 u12 u13 we have 0 u22 u23 and then 0 0 u33 we have the vertical bar and then we have according to the expression we have z1 z2 z3 so this is the upper triangular matrix we are talking about the results after doing forward elimination now 
the second thing to do is back substitution so you are going to solve this reduced system by back substitution to obtain the values of to obtain the values of x1 x2 and x3 forming components of the solution vector the solution vector x which is given by a color matrix x1 x2 x3 so basically this is the solution process to solving a system of n linear equations with n unknowns using naive gaussian elimination method the initial step is to represent the given system in an augmented matrix then you do forward elimination you reduce the given system into an upper triangular system and then you do back substitution to obtain the values x1 x2 and x3 hence the solution vector now we are going to consider a few examples notice that we are going to start from the simplest of examples and then we move on to more complex ones now let's take the examples one after the other in this example we are going to use naive gaussian elimination to solve the system of equations given here so let's try this example together so as we learned from the previous section the initial thing to do or what first comes to mind is to represent the system of equations in the augmented form so we basically write the coefficients of x1 x2 and then x3 in order we have 2 1 3 negative 1 4 5 2 4 negative 2 we have the vertical bar and then we have negative 1 3 1 so after representing this system of equations in the augmented form the first thing we need to do is to do what we call forward elimination and then we do back substitution to obtain the solution vector now the forward elimination ensures that these three values go to zero it ensures that these three values go to zero now we also need to understand that the forward elimination process is a two in one step that is for the first step we make these two values go to zero and then for the second step we make this value go to zero now let's start off with the first step of the forward elimination process and then we move on to the second step so for the first step we are going to consider row one as the pivot row and then we consider the first element of row one which is two as the pivot element now in that case we want to make the element below 2 to become 0. We want to make the element below 2 go to 0. So these two elements must go to 0. So that is when we want to focus on the first part of the forward elimination process. So in doing so, we are going to consider row 1 and then row 2. And then we perform elementary row operations on row 2. And what is the operation? The operation is since we want to make negative 1 go to 0, we multiply negative 1 by 2. And that becomes negative 2. And then we add that to 2. And thus we have a 0. Therefore, what this primarily means is that we are going to multiply row 2 by 2. So we have row 2 by 2. And then we add that to row 1. So this is the operation we are going to perform on row 2. Now if we do that, this value goes to 0. Again, to make this value go to 0, we have row 1 to be the pivot row. And so we compare row 1 and then row 3. Now we perform the elementary row operation on row 3. And the operation is, because these two values are already the same, we basically subtract row 3 from row 1. So that becomes row 1 minus row 3 so we are going to produce a new augmented matrix or system and then for the first row it remains unchanged so we have 2 1 3 and then negative 1 for row 2 we multiply so we are going to do column by column 
So we multiply 2 by the first value of root 2, that is negative 1. So 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2, and then plus 2, that becomes 0. We move on to the second column. We have 2 times 4, which is 8, and then plus 1, that becomes 9. Third column, we have 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 3, that is 13. We move on to the next column, we have 2 times 3, that is 6. Negative 1 plus 6, we have positive 5. Now let's move on to row 3. So for row 3, we have the operation to be R1 minus R3. So we have 2 minus 2, that is 0. We have 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. We have 3 minus minus 2, that is 3 plus 2. We have 5, and then we have negative 1 minus 1, that is negative 2. So this is the result after doing the first step of the forward elimination process. We've succeeded in making these two values go to 0. Now, to make this value also go to 0, that is the second step of the forward elimination step or the process. So we are going to consider row 2 as the pivot row. And then we consider 9 as the pivot element, which means that this value must go to 0. Now, to make this value go to 0, we have a negative 3 here. So we simply multiply row 3 by 3. So when you multiply row 3 by 3, this becomes 3 times negative 3. And then that becomes negative 9. If you add that to row 2, then you realize that you have a 0. So we are going to perform the elementary row operation on row 3 and what is the operation the operation is we are going to multiply row 3 by 3 and then we add that to row 2 so we are going to produce a new augmented matrix row 1 remains unchanged row 2 also remains unchanged and then we have changes occurring at row 3. So we are going to focus on this operation. So that is R2 plus 3 times of R3. So we have 0 plus 3 times of 0. That is still 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0. Here we have 3 times R3. 3 times negative 3. That is negative 9 plus 9 is also 0. And then we move on to the next column. We have 3 times 5, which is 15. 15 plus 13 is 28. So we have a 28 here. And then we have 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. So 5 plus negative 6, that is negative 1. So we have a negative 1 here. So this is the result after doing forward elimination. Notice that this is the result after doing the first step of forward elimination and this is the result after doing the second step or completing the forward elimination step. Now we are going to do back substitution. Now to do back substitution, we need to remember that column 1 corresponds to x1, column 2 corresponds to x2, column 3 also corresponds to x3. So starting from row 3, starting from behind, we have... 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 28x3. So we have 28x3 and that is equal to negative 1. So we can divide through by 28 by 28. That is we have x3 to be equal to negative 1 over 28. So this is the value. This is the value of of x3 now let's move on to x2 to find the value of x2 we are going to have 0x1 plus 9x2 so 9x2 plus 13x3 so we are going to have 13 times we know x3 to be negative 1 over 28 and that's equal to on the right hand side we have 5 so what we do, we are going to transpose this fraction to the right hand side. So we are going to have 
9x2 equals we have 5 notice that this negative is affecting i mean the whole um, value we have here so when you transpose this to the right hand side negative goes away so that becomes plus 13 over 28 so we find the lcm we have 28 28 divided by 1 is 28 28 times 5 is 140 plus 28 divided by 28 is 1 1 times 13 is 13 so we have that to be equal to 9x2 so we are going to have 9x2 equals 153 on top divided by 28 we want to find the value of x2 so we divide through by 9 by 9 and then you realize that we have x2 to be equal to 153 divided by 28 times the reciprocal of this so 1 over 9 now 9 goes here once 9 goes here 17 times therefore we have x2 to be equal to 17 divided by 28 so this is the value this is the value of x2 now let's try to find the value of x1 so from row 1 we are going to have 2x1 plus 1x2 we have x2 that is 17 over 28 and then plus 3x3 so we have plus 3 times negative 1 over 28 so simply we do that negative 3 over 28 now this is equal to negative 1 so we are going to have 2x1 2x1 plus because we have the same denominator we are basically going to evaluate the numerator so 17 minus 3 that is 14 so 14 over 28 now 14 goes here once it goes here two times so that becomes plus 1 over 2 simply 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 equals negative 1 so this becomes we have 2x1 that is equal to we transpose this to the right hand side that becomes negative 3 over 2 we divide through by 2 by 2 and then this becomes this becomes negative 3 over 2 times 1 over 1 over 2 and this is simply negative 3 over 4 therefore we have x1 to be negative 3 over 4 this is the value this is the value of x1 therefore therefore we have the solution vector we have the solution vector x to be equal to the color matrix we have x1 negative 3 over 4 x2 17 over 28 x3 negative 1 over 28 so basically this is how to solve a system of equations using naive gaussian elimination method and this is one of the simplest of examples you may obtain in an examination now in the next section we are going to consider more complex ones